joining us now are members of the Angelou State Rams men's basketball program. In the center of our podium is head coach Chris Beard. On the far right is Chris Jones. Chris is a 6'2 senior from Dallas, Texas. On the near side of the podium, Demario Mayfield. Demario is a 6'5 senior from Royston, Georgia. Coach, if you would, your initial thoughts on a uh, ball game that saw your team build a lead and then withstand a solid challenge from Kingsville. Yeah, it's March, and uh, it's all about just winning the game, surviving and advancing, and we're thrilled to win. We have a lot of respect for Kingsville's program. Uh, to beat a team three times in one season is very, very difficult. I think Johnny Estelle is one of the best coaches in the league, and they've got good players, and uh, we're just thrilled to win the game. DeMario, uh, the game from your perspective, you had 19 points, 14 rebounds. It's uh, one heck of a double-double. You also had three assists and a steal. Uh, you, you know, without my teammates, uh, none, none of that would have been possible. You know, you, you got a guy, uh, our point guard, Chris Jones, who, who's playing a solid game. Uh, Marcel Holden, who's an elite shooter. So, you know, w without those guys, none of this is possible. Chris, a point guard scoring 21 points but grabbing eight rebounds to go with three assists, two steals. You're 8 of 13 from the field, and that's a pretty solid game. Tell us about uh, Like Demario said, you know, I got great teammates. I mean, we share the ball. Uh, we got a great uh, motion offense, you know, get a lot of open shots, and my teammates found me. Questions for the Rams? Coach Beard, obviously with, um, with Texas A&M and Kingsville, they didn't want to get beat a third time, and they had that run where they cut the lead down to three. What did you tell your guys at halftime to, to really get them fired up or to keep, keep this win? Yeah, just stay poised, you know, stay the course. We're a team that uh, has a lot of experienced players. Our five seniors are our captains. These guys have been on a lot in a lot of different college basketball games. We knew Kingsville had another shot in them. Um, I thought, you know, they're a very difficult team to guard. They get going downhill on you with the dribble and do you help? Uh, they hit a three, do you not help? They get to the free throw line. So it's a very challenging de uh, offense to guard. Uh, but I was really proud of our effort for 40 minutes. We looked like a poised team out there tonight. We looked like a team that had some seniors and had some composure. And give Kingsville credit for their comeback, but give our guys credit for finding a way to win <coughs> our first game in March. These two guys, uh, Demario and Chris, kind of just were on stats. They proved why they belong as first team amongst our conference members. What did you think of their performance, and how key was that to, the, to, to keeping that composure towards the end? Yeah, I thought both of them played great. You know, it started with their preparation this week. week. We rely on our seniors a lot, and Demario and Chris had these guys ready to play tonight. Um, I'm loving coaching these guys. I'm, I'm enjoying the ride. It's March, and uh, we're only guaranteed one more game, but we'd like to play eight more, and that's our goal. And um, we look forward to, to playing a good either Midwestern or Cameron team on Friday. Uh, Chris, you scored 15 in the first half. I guess what did you do to kind of get yourself back uh, in rhythm on offense in that second half where you guys went on that three-minute score and you're out? Just kind of be more aggressive, getting to, getting to the basket a little bit? Uh, well, it really wasn't be more aggressive. It was just like kind of play my game. You know, my teammates found me. Uh, ran a couple of sets that kind of got me looks in our, in our offense, and I got some good looks and got to the free throw line. Because tomorrow, uh, what did you guys do differently in that last maybe three minutes or so? It seemed like you guys went on a run. Uh, Chris was able to get some steals. You guys were able to get some deflections. Uh, you, you, you know, we, we didn't do anything different. <clears throat> you know, uh, uh, Chris Jones is, is leading the Lone Star Conference in steals. You know, that's what he do. Uh, you know, he, he make plays on the ball, so, you know, credit to uh, CJ. I mean, we, we just stay with the game plan, uh, j just listen to our coaching staff and uh, try to execute to the best of our ability. Coach, second time playing in just five days. How tough was it to get this victory today? Well, it was tough because it was Kingsville. Again, I can't say this enough, you know, in college basketball, to beat a team three times in one season that has a good coach and good players is very difficult. Um, and I thought Kingsville played great tonight. I thought from their perspective, they had some runs during the game where it got away from them, uh, but we feel the same way. Uh, but we're just very fortunate to beat a good team like Kingsville three times in one season. In terms of this kind of many games in this short of a period, I mean, this is March. This is why you work hard in the summers, and this is why they call it March Madness, you know. And, uh, we talk a lot about mental toughness uh, in our program. We really believe in mental toughness. And, you know, this time of year, you're not going to feel great. You're going to be tired. You're going to be a little banged up. And I think the team that's the tougher has a little bit of an advantage. We pride ourselves in having some toughness, and we're going to learn a lot about our team here uh, in the month of March. Any more questions for the Rams? Uh, last question, Coach. Um, Coach Singo mentioned how 
<coughs> while Mario and Chris are, you know, they got the accolade for being first team all conference. To get through this, you need to have <coughs> 10 or 12 guys step up. What do you think is an overall team effort for maybe the guys who didn't draft the headlines this game? Yeah, I think Chris and Demario will be the first to tell you that we really don't put much stock in individual awards. Um, you know, number one, you got to play on a good team to get those kind of honors. Number two, you got to have great teammates to screen for you, rebound the ball, pass the ball. You know, we're we're a real team. Uh, the one thing I will say about the All Conference is, I thought that every player that got selected was very, very deserving. It's a great league this year, uh, but I think on our team, Rajon Kelly is a guy that played like an All Conference player this year. And I know it's difficult to get four players on an All Conference team, but uh, I think these guys would be the first to tell you that, that Rajon had just as good a season. Um, is these guys, and I and, uh, thought all our seniors played great this year. All right, gentlemen, congratulations on a hard-fought win. Thank you.